Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Yes. When you talk about music, dance, fitness, health, expository trips, meaningful discussions, culture, popular faces, and of course, wonderful cuisine, mm -hmm. you talk about Ongashas. <laughs> so don't go anywhere, catch all of this and more on the show today, courtesy Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. Once again, and you're still watching On Gashos, brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. Now, before we continue, I would like to take a moment to appreciate our lovely Spice Band. <laughs> and of course, you, our audience. Thank you so much. For Now, if you're used to watching on Gashos, which you should be, you should know that we're about to jump into the gym with our gym goddess. Mm -hmm. So what happened this week? We did some planks. It was a bit tough, <laughs> but you know, I was up to it. You are still running away from the gym. Incentive, that's what I need, incentive. Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. Let's watch the clip. <laughs> Obliques. Stay here and bring your knee to your elbow. One, two, three, 
four, five. Try to keep the back straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break. Okay. Catch your breath. Rest for ten. We'll do one. So from here, go. Same movement. Same movement. All right, break it down. Ready, go. One, two, same arm, same elbow. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a break. Break, got your break. Ten. So Ten. this time, the same position. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Woo. Yeah. So on today's segment, we've done planks and different variations. Now, plank exercises work for your shoulders, your abdominal muscles, and your quadriceps. Wow. <laughs> How was it today? Oh, it's good. I hope Very it difficult. Too. Okay. But what I want to ask is, how do you prevent, you know, having injury or sprain to the back okay. while yeah. doing plank For exercises? Plank exercises, if done wrongly, can cause injuries to your spine. So, mm -hmm. to prevent that, you do, you maintain your right form, and you can do for a lesser time. But always try to keep the back straight and raise your head up during. Plans. So the bum shouldn't be up? No. You have Back to be straight like flat. a ruler. Straight. Okay. And if you feel any pain or any tension, you just stop. Stop and rest. Yes. Wow. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's segment. Thank you. I never knew it had so many variations. Variations, yes. I thought you would just plant. Well, that's the basic yeah. plant, but you know, he, Dan, the, the gym instructor, was able to do variations because he said you could work out more muscle groups that way. So, okay, okay. Yeah. And it's a bit easier to move than just stay on one spot for a very long time. So, it, it's a full body workout? Mm -hmm. So it works out your arms because you're carrying your body weight. And then, of course, your abdominal, what they call the core, mm -hmm. your abdominal muscles. Mm -hmm. And also, if done properly, helps the back. So without the extra movements, just the stationary one, mm -hmm. do you also get the full body? Yeah, you, you do, but you get more when you move. So the movement helps a bit with, you know, the muscles, the obliques that we spoke about for the waist. But the, the, the main plank, the basic plank helps a lot with your abdominal muscles, your back and then the muscles in your arms, your biceps and triceps. Muscles. Okay, so I'm going to take us to break and then we're going to discuss the easiest planking method without the audience. Just come to the gym, let's do it together. I'll come this to the gym. This one is not a matter of talking now, you have to do the action. The easy one. <laughs> on Gashos, we'll be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Yes. Welcome back. You're still watching Ongashes. And now it's time for our wellness focus. We're going to be talking about the oral manifestations of systemic diseases. And we have an expert to talk to us about this, Dr. Mudupe Oreagba. She's on the line with us. Let's welcome her. Hi, Umi. Hi, Folake. How do you do? Hi. Thank you. So, uh, what do you mean by oral manifestation? Oral manifestation simply means signs and symptoms that you would see in the mouth. Meaning, if you have diabetes and you come to the dental clinic, I'd expect to open your mouth if your diabetes is not controlled, to see mobile teeth, to see swollen gum, smelly mouth, different kind of things. Those are the kind of things you see. So the manifestations are actually the signs and the symptoms that we see in this patient's mouth. So what are the examples of these oral manifestations? The mobile teeth, the swollen gum, smelly mouth. A patient with liver cirrhosis, because the immune system is actually down, 
patient will come down with all sorts of infections. So we have gingivitis, trench mouth, periodontitis, you can have curious teeth, you can have salivary gland disorders, you can have a, a whole lot of things because the person is actually quite immunocompromised. And then for patients with HIV AIDS as well, because they're very immunocompromised, you have a lot of things like this. You have um, fungal infections like candida, you have syndromes. Then with um, people with HIV infections, you can actually have um, lymphomas, inflamed lymph nodes in the mouth, okay, where you have the submandibular um, lymph node gland being inflamed. So you expect things like that generally from patients with this kind of systemic diseases. Okay, and what about the signs and symptoms of these oral manifestations? There's several um, visible signs and symptoms like I've told you. By the time you are seeing somebody's mouth and then the gum, which is a pinkish thing, is swollen. You have a gum, um, you have a tongue that is enlarged. You have a lot of teeth that have holes. You have um, swellings around the mouth towards the ear region, towards the chin region. So you know that there are actually a lot of things. So the dentist actually, usually the dentist will say that um, the mouth is the mirror to the body. So usually when you open your mouth, you can tell a lot of things that is happening in the patient's body. So how can it be managed, these oral manifestations? You have to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Balanced diet is important. Regular visits to the dentist, which is usually supposed to be twice in a year, is also very crucial. Exercise plays a very crucial role as well because it makes, it makes you fit. So what are the treatments of these oral manifestations? Um, we have um, the invasive and the non-invasive. The non-invasive is basically medications. Then we have scaling and polishing, we have extractions, we have fillings, we have um, mouth breathers, we have helping to increase saliva, we have root cleaning, we have um, deep correctages, we have different kinds of um, treatments like I've, like I've mentioned. Wow, thank you so much, Doctor. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I hope I was helpful. Yes, indeed. Very much. <laughs>if it's not controlled, no matter how much dental care they do, mm. there'll, there'll be no achievement of, you know, there'll be no successful treatment. So they need to make sure that the diabetes is well controlled so that the mouth problems can be also can be resolved. And on that note, we're taking another break, but remember, health is wealth. Ongashos will be right back. <laughs> Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back and you're still watching on Gashos. Today to discuss the effects of social media on children is Mrs. Tinuke Adela. Queen. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow, so diving right in, what exactly is social media? Um, really, it's just a collection of online platforms or channels where um, people can collaborate and network and, you know, just interact, really. That's what it is. So are there any positive effects of social media? What can we say are the advantages or the positive aspects? I think social media is fantastic. The same way I feel that the virtual space, the internet is fantastic. Um, and I think that um, it's fantastic in the sense that it builds development, it breaks barriers. I mean, the world is a global village now, so 
it breaks the barriers of location, breaks barriers of tribe, breaks barriers of race, of social strata. So I think it's a fantastic space to play in. However, I also believe that there are pros, there are cons, so there is a lot of good, there's a lot of bad, bad. there. And, um, but I think the positives are much more than the negatives because the same way that you have predators there is the same way you have people who can develop and grow you. What are the negative aspects of social media? The things that we should try as much as possible to avoid or prevent? Honestly, we can't shield them forever. Hmm. We can't keep them in a bubble. So I think it's important for us as parents and caregivers and supervisors to take on or to set barriers and ensure that they live by those boundaries that we have set. Um, very often we find that we want to micromanage and crowd them, but we don't trust them enough. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about the, pro, the, the you know, the, the, the negative effects and she was mentioning the cons. Um, and there's so many. Mm -hmm. How do we now begin to solve these negative effects of social media on our children? One of the things I've come to realize as well is that um, caregivers and supervisors and parents seem to be guilt parenting a lot. Guilt parenting? Hmm. What do you mean by that? So, somewhere in the minds of the people, they feel that they had so many disadvantages in their growing up years. So the children are the ones that are setting the tone now. Your role as a parent, real, in reality of it, before the children come up, age is to parent them, not carry their favor. Mm. Very often you find that people have abdicated responsibility or the responsibility of parenting and they've handed it over to the school and the caregivers and teachers. Mm. So we need to take the responsibility back. We need to take parenting back even from our children. We need to take parenting back from other caregivers. We need to get back in charge. So when you're saying, oh, no, 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 the child won't do this or the child won't do that. Really? The child I gave birth to or the one who gave birth to me? Mm -hmm. So we need to understand what the rules are here, you know? So it's important for us to take on those responsibilities as well. But you see, I find as well that we've over abused the word bullying now. So everything is bullying and everybody is bullying. But you see, we also need to remember that both the bully, bully and the victim, the bully and the person being bullied are both victims. Mm. Oh yeah. Because where does bullying come from? There's a sense of inadequacy somewhere. Mm -hmm. mm. They both need help in different forms. I've seen children who have bullied, cyber bullied adults, and their parents have said, I don't even know what you're talking about. Really? Mm -hmm. I would like to know how to manage the effects of this cyberbullying with kids. Hmm. So I think you need to know your child. It's to know them enough to know once there's a behavioral change. And once there is, it's important for us to dig deeper. And you see, very often the cyberbullying is with teenagers. It happens a lot with yes. them. <laughs> but you see, it's important even for for you to identify the bully and then to identify the person being bullied from behavioral changes. But mom, here's the thing. You can get a child who would uh, uh, physically, mm. you know, in the real world now, is so demure, quiet, yes. and then they get yeah. onto the cyberspace and they're just horrible, yes. just horrible. So That's you true. know that. The facelessness of the cyberspace gives them confidence. You find these days that more and more parents are allowing their children to have these gadgets that have, you know, access to cyberspace yes. and they're more than ready to just buy the data and let the kid yes. go on their own. So, but for parents who do not have this advantage, what are the sites and the social media platforms that are safe for kids to visit? The way I think the perspective I function from, and there are people who would disagree, is I think that the underlying thing here is trust. Set the boundaries and trust them that they will live by them. Hmm. Don't look over their shoulder. Hmm. They will know when they're doing wrong. Some of them will come and confess to you themselves. 
for those who will not who have interference from outside your unit we need to entrust them to be able to make the right choices even when you're not there because life in itself you're faced with good choices and bad choices even as an adult and you make a bad choice you live with the repercussions of it so they need to understand that they make good choices they live with the benefits of it they make bad choices they live with the repercussions so we must be able to step up to the plate as their supervisors to make sure that we meet out appropriate um, punishment to address the behavioral Indeed. challenge. Wow. Thank you so much wow. for your wisdom mm -hmm. today. We Thank could go you. on and on and on and on. I know yes. I still have questions. And you I look like you have much <laughs> more. Yeah, but we can't <laughs> for now. Well, if you're one of those parents that has, you know, allowed your kid to be in possession of one gadget or the other, know that they are out there in the cyberspace. Let's be cautious. Ongashas will be right back. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Yes. Welcome back to Ongashes. And we're at our cooking segment. We have our guest cook with us. Let's welcome her. Her name is Hassana Yusuf. Yeah. Hassana Barka Dezua. Well, Papa, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I actually want to do is to just not talk and usher her into the kitchen because I'm hungry. Foodie, foodie. Yes, Calm that's what down. we're here for. Ah, you you know, know, our problem. Still... We don't have I'll, problems. Honestly, I'll give you the best. Oh, yes. awesome. Welcome again, Hassan. She's ginger. She has gingered me too. Now I'm hungry too. Uh, <laughs> but before we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our special guest for the week. have you on the show yeah, today. I love your dancing steps. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Very nice. In fact, it's right yes, from that, that, that is, that is the, 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 the greatest the, the greatest shoki. You have to start from <laughs> the your toes. The greatest shoki. Of course, you have to start from your toes. So this is shoki plus. You know, by the time you oh. plaster it, you look at it. By the time you block it. <laughs> Mr. Rabi Rikadawa. Yes. You are our special guest today, and we are really honored to have you on the show. Yes, I I, I feel honored too, actually. Now I'm overwhelmed to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. One of your Thank fans. You very much. Honestly. <laughs> oh, that's My cool. best actor in Kenwood. Wow. Oh, my God. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. See, Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Calm down, don't worry. We are, we are okay. No, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, look, see. my fans are part of my family. You don't have to. Honestly, you're here with me. <laughs> so feel at home. Honestly, I'm relaxed. That's good. What are you cooking? Because well, I've got top leaf on our hand today. Hey, this morning. Correct. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know what uh, you're going so... to cook anyway. Yes. But Do you want to tell us, or oh, it's a secret for now? Well, I'm giving oh. you me Oh my God. Yes. I, think I love you milk. See? I don't, I, mean, I love swallow in its entire, be it a bar, 
um semo tuo utuo whatever in, in whatever need to be torn down or torn shinkapa whatever tuo or torn alkama amala itself Ooh. look i'm a can I'm, I'm a swallow person actually mm. and yes, of course nice. i always want to take swallow with anything that is draw oh, you know just <laughs> Our research team took a trip somewhere. If you'd like to look at the screen, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome to Katsina, a city popularly referred to as the home of hospitality and tourism. Katsina sure has a soothing feeling that makes visitors not only feel welcome, but makes them feel especially at home. That is why Katsina is called Town of the town boasts of several tourist attractions, like the city gates, the Emir's Palace, with its unique architectural structure and intricate patterns. The name of Kasina originated from a baobab tree. That is Kukarkazi. That baobab tree is still in existence. Katsina hosts the oldest institution of learning in northern Nigeria, built in 1922. That's why we find also very educated. Many prominent Nigerians attended this institution, like Sir Abubakar Tapao Balewa, the Sardona of Sokoto, our former president Leta Radua, and former president Mahmoud Bukhari, they are from Kasina. Built with unique red big city mud, the teacher's college is a sight to behold. This chair and this table belong to the first principal of the college, Sir J.A.J. Dinaman. The National Museum Katsina boasts of historical artifacts and excavations dating back to over a thousand years, making it a must-see tourist attraction for visitors to the state. With the city undergoing the sovereignty of different dynasties, usually through conquests before the present-day rulers. When this uh, Sarki Muhammad Koro came to Kazana, that is the time when Islam came to Kazana. He built that uh, Gobalo minaret, which was the first pride mosque in Kazana. It was built between 1348 to 1398. The Gobarao Minaret, built about 300 years ago, signifies the birth of Islam in Katsina, and the site remains the main tourist attraction in the state. Our food normally includes two masara, pura danono. Katsina boasts of a myriad of delicious cuisines, and amongst the several foods in Katsina, the Mian Kubewa soup proves a popular delight amongst the people. The traditional name of okra soup in Katsina is Mian Kubewa. Mian Kubewa is a very tasty traditional soup made from dried okra. This soup is best served with tuo shinkafa or tuo masara. The ingredients for preparing Mian Kubewa are grinded okra, dried fish, onions, pepper, caked locust beans, also known as dadawa, and seasoning for taste. With the sweet taste of Mian Kubiwa, nothing complements the beautiful city of Katsina better. Katsina, a sweet place to be. Killed it. <laughs> Honestly, you've killed it by seeing, by me seeing that too and me of Kubewa. In fact, you've made my day. So I take it our research team covered most of the things we need to know about Katsuna State. I personally had no idea that um, its history went, you know, so far, far back, back and yes. the, the rulership the traditional rulership went so far back. back. I, I saw somewhere where they wrote 1348. That's in the 14th century. Yeah. That's an some ancient yeah. history. Yes, that's that's Katana for you. Wow. When the white men came into the country, they were like, I'm other, all other kingdoms were resisting them. Mm -hmm. But I, I was made to understand that Katsina Kingdom was the first in the north to like accept the white men. Mm. Yes. Well, that's an interesting tidbit. Yeah. yeah. We're going yes. to research it. 
and we're going to come back and we're going to discuss it before this episode is over. Is that a deal, sir? Yes, yes. whatever it comes, whatever it brings, fine, we will work with it. Well, another thing that you should know yeah. is that we require our special guests uh -huh. to help our guest cooks in the kitchen. Uh -huh. yep. So, whatever. Let's see how it's going to work. There's this very, very interesting tidbit I heard about you before you got into your acting career. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to touch that now because I need to take us to break and we need to get you situated in the Ongashos kitchen where you'll be helping Hasana to cook. Mm -hmm. All right. Helping you to cook. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ongashos will be right back. <laughs> Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sauce. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. And if you're just tuning in, you are watching Ongashas. Right now, we are in the Ongasha's kitchen with our beautiful guest cook, Hasana, and Malam Rikadawa, yes. popularly known as Dela. And we're making... Miyambu <laughs> Saishan Hasana, can you just take us through what we're going to use, all the ingredients? Over okay. to you. Okay, thank you. We'll be using fresh pepper. And then, this is tarugu. Yes. Tarugu is. Tarugu in Hausa. Yes. Okay. Fresh pepper. Mm. Then we we use onions too. All right. Onions that is albasa. Albasa. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> then we have the local locust beans. Okay. Yes. That's the the, the dawa. The dawa in Hausa. The dawa in Hausa. Mm. We also be using dry fish, catfish. Oh, wow. Then the meats, beef. That's Nama. That's Nama. Yes. Nama. Nama. They all know Shari. Nama. Don't you I know that one. They all know Nama. <laughs> and this soup will be garnished ungraciously. Ooh. Yes. All the spices. I like there. that. So how do we start? One minute, Just wash right? your hand first. What, what will I do? Uh, my expert in eating, not cooking. <laughs> so what's the first step? The first step is uh, cooking the meat. We use meat and we make sure the meat is properly cooked. It's very soft. Can I give you the meat now? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll start with washing the meat, she says. Mm -hmm. Do you, what pots? So you can choose. We have so many you pots here. Bring a pot here for you. Thank you. Let yeah. me wash it, yes. Huh? Please do. Guys, I'm not eating this food for free. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> uh -huh. You are working very hard. Uh -huh. Of course now. Let us know if you need any help with anything. What other thing? Is there anything you'd like uh -huh. us to help you? Take the pot to... No, no worry. I'll do it. So should I pour the kubewa inside? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking you. I told you I don't... I'm not a... So we get to that. Okay. Mm. okay. Knife. Right? So what else? What? What next? Knife. Knife? Yeah. Mm. All right. This onion. Yes. Are we using the whole of this onion or just part of it? Part of it is too much. Okay. So we don't need the two? One no. is okay? One is too much, sir. Oh, so for the size portion we are cooking, we don't need up to mm. one large onion. Maybe I we should ask this Hassan. one to boil the meat first. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Pour this and some inside people our beans. That's good Maybe for them. Small. Okay. Where? Inside the meat. Okay. I go and wash this one for you. No. That's, I'm not doing it. Let me no, go and wash it for you. you. Let me go and wash no, it. No, no. Malam Dela, don't worry. I have 
contributed my part as I want to watch it. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, so is there any other thing you want me to do for you before yes. you finish watching that dish? Yes, I want you to unwrap the hunger for me, the chicken. Uh, simple. So which season, which season do you prefer? The cube. The cube, yes. the chicken cube, right? Cube. Okay. Yes. This one. Yes. So how many? How many? I you want me to like unwrap the whole of this No, thing? no, no, just two. <laughs> Only two? Yes, we'll be adding I, it up with the classic. Uh, I don't pass that one. I can't <laughs> come to Ungacious, you know, kitchen and still use only two pieces like this. No, I'm going to use more than two. Uh, uh, no, it's OK. <laughs> You know, hunger is so powerful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's two. Two is? Yes. Just two is For okay. our food. Uh -huh. Well, ask the cook. She's in charge, so we have to okay. do what she says. Two is means... OK. OK. We'll be mixing okay, up just two. with uh, the classic hunger. OK. So let me unwrap it. You want let it Let me here? get you something. You can, OK. Yes. I can use this. No, this one is wet. Let me use this Okay, one. it's still the uh -uh. same thing. It's going inside the water now. It's going inside water. Let it go dry now so that when you get <laughs> when it meet water, it goes swim inside. Okay. <laughs> Just two, or you want the, the powder? Powdered classic. Okay, classic. Uh-uh. You see? Mm. Oh, so you match the cube. Okay, the cube. Uh -huh. You see? She's even teaching me how to how to do it now. Uh -huh. Very good. Please, a round of applause. I'm not using this for free. Sorry, can I put Yes. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me help you with that so you can put it. Thank you. I can put mm -hmm. the whole right? I hope those drummers are listening. <laughs> it's okay. All done. Wow. Now you put a okay. little salt. Salt? Yes. Ah, again? Mm. Just little. A pinch. Little. A pinch. Mm. Like this? Now this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> yeah, it is. Top. Mm -hmm. Let me wash my hands in case you... You have not finished, sir. So. We have not finished, but let me <laughs> wash my hands first. So, Hassan, what's next? What so are what's... we doing next? We are adding onga, ginger, onion, and garlic to it. To garnish it up. Is it not going to be too much? It's not too much. Mm. What? Mm. And then? You see? It's okay. We can use all. I'll just use a little bit. Maybe you want to put it in a spoon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll turn our meat here. so that mm -hmm. the ingredients will mix up together. Mm -hmm. spoon. So? So the manja, the... The manja and the, the dawa are going in together. Are going together. Yes. They are friends, I know them. The dawa and manja. <laughs> What is manja? Manja, the palm oil. Palm oil. Oh. And they are going to the pot together. Right. So what of the, the... Is it? Okay. So what of the dry fish? The dry fish will go with all those manja. With? The manja. Okay. Can I test one? No, it's not yet done. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so very That's strong. We'll, 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 we'll meet on the table. The next stage now is washing of the fish. We wash and keep. When the meat is done, we put it in fire with other ingredients. Okay. Mm. Hassanan, do you need us to help with anything? We are here for you. No, mm, I'm okay. All right. I'm okay. just waiting for the meat now. Okay, so that means the next step is? Yes, pounding of the pepper. Oh, okay. okay, and we have our pesto, mini pesto, mortar and pesto right here. Let me put it in here. I am going to put it in here. So, Malam, I want to ask if you have any advice or words of wisdom for young people, probably who are thinking of going into acting, or sometimes maybe 
Mm. You know, they don't really come from a very well-to-do background or they have challenges growing up. To encourage people because a lot of people, you know, believe that, you know, they may be disadvantaged in one way or the other. Uh, you see, you don't have to come from a well-to-do family oh. before you become an entertainer. I mean, be it an actor, a musician, whatever, a footballer, whatever. You don't have to look at the background. Hmm. Entertainment industry is a creative industry. Yes. It all depends on what you have upstairs. Yes. Hello. No. Is it not too much? The fact that I say I like Pepe <laughs> does not mean that you're going to put all this... Thing. <laughs> Let me help you put it. Sorry, I have... I don't know. I don't know. You can put it down. So, yes. This is too much. Oh. Okay. I beg you. No, well, one. you said How you like first? pepper malam. Does so not she... mean that I, I eat don't. raw pepper. It's not raw now. <laughs> She's going to cook it, hopefully. Let's go into our audience and find out how they are doing. Hello, and Umi is right, sitting right there. Hello. Hi, Falake. How's it going in the kitchen? It's going well. We're having so much fun. I've, I've learned see... a lot already. She's... Yes, I can see him pulling his weight. Yes. <laughs> we have a couple uh, of uh, members of the audience that would like to speak with Dila. That's his stage, stage name, name when he's doing comedy. So, Mala Rikadawa, while you work, a couple of uh, members from the audience are going to ask. All right. All right. <laughs> and my question is, do you only act Aosa movies or you act English movies also? Thank you. Well, I major in Hausa movies because I belong to the Kaniwood movie industry, which is the northern entertainment industry. But I still cross, you know, over to Lagos and we do it, a lot of stuff in English down there. I, in fact, I do both, but I major in the Hausa entertainment industry. in your line of work, versatility is very important. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Falake, what's happening with the food? Yeah, Hassana wants to put some stuff in the yes. pot, right? See, the good thing is I don't need to ask either Hassana or Mala Rabi'u how to say hurry up in Hausa. Do Allah, kui sauri. Please, <laughs> audience, kui sauri. You see, kui sauri, me sir. So ma, I think ma, um, masa, masa. my is watching for now. <laughs> Somebody say masala. So there's something we call dagani. Huh? That's how I prepare the soup. Mm. I'm going to add all the ingredients together at once now. Oh. Once. Well, this is it. The fish, this meat looks the pepper. Wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> Malam Rikadawa is already salivating here. Mm. It's like, ooh. Mm. It's looking nice already. Yeah, I didn't the alba the the onions now. Albasa. The albasa, mm. yes. Mm. So once the meat is done, you just add the fish. Yes, because they don't need albasa. to stay as long as the meat anymore. Okay. You know meat takes a long time, right? Yes. I'll add the pepper. Mm. <laughs> okay. Which mala Ricardawa? so dedicatedly pounded for us. Oh, yes. And he did a great job. Fantastic job. I can this thing, my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now well, you mm. tried. So what are that? The dadawa? The dadawa. The low cost, yes. Not so, Falake, while they're dishing out the low cost beans into the pot, I've always wanted to know what are the nutritional benefits of okra? Well, okra is very, very nutritious. It's a vegetable. It has a lot of vitamins, fiber, vitamin E. There's lots of iron in it. So it's actually very nutritious. Um, I'm not sure if maybe when it's dry, it has the same amount of nutrition, but definitely it will still have a lot of fiber. And of course, some some minerals yeah. Yeah. so it's really nice and then of course you know you have a lot of meat here and fish as well 
So you balance oh, up with some cool. protein and the oils which they're putting in right now. Mm. So it's so a very nutritious. Could it be part meal. of any special diet? Mm. Yes, I believe people who have um, who require meals that are not too high in sugar, what we call low glycemic index oh. meals. Okay. Eating okra soup mm -hmm. is something that is really good for mm -hmm. you know such people with very little amount of carbohydrates. So what they okay. advise people to do, especially with like diabetes, is to eat very little amount of the either the rice or the swallow and make the soup, in this case, you know, the okra soup to be more than you know the swallow. And that will also help to regulate their blood sugar levels. Mm. So Thank it's you so actually much. very, very Thank you so very much good. for that. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I want it to start boiling first. We need to go on a short break. Oh. Don't go anywhere. We'll be oh, right yeah. back in the kitchen on Onga. Introducing the new Onga ginger onion and garlic powder seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sauce. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back. We are in the Ongasha's kitchen preparing me and Kubewa Pusashi. So, Hasana, thank you so much. I think I've learned how to make this. Okay. Yeah, so, and you called it a particular name just now. You were teaching me the name Jab. Jagami, when you're adding oh, up the ingredients, Jagami. you add up everything Jagami. after boiling Boom. your meat. Join. Wow, and, and our soup is looking cooking. fantastic mm. already. Woo, that looks... Kai. Kai. We can't wait. Hmm. While we're waiting for that to boil, mm. we want to move our bodies a little bit. Allah. You know we have an amazing band here, mm. the Spice Band, and they can play all kinds of music. Let me see what they have there so that you know something that will make me to like you know yes <laughs> so dance for your supper too Yo, uh, all right so over to you spice man every time we toss it we go wrong we go all the way we go all the way every time we toss it we go wrong we go all the way, we go all the way. Better girls, better girls than me. Better parties, better house, and better girls than me. See, I can't take you there. Champagne everywhere. That's the life we're living like every day. I know my superstar. 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 I know my superstar, I know my superstar, hey! Shabalala, 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 hey! Uzabu, hey, Imba, hey! Uzabu, hey, Imba, hey! Uzabu, Uzabu, hey, Imba, hey! Uzabu, hey, Imba, hey! Superstar, I am a superstar, I am a superstar, superstar. <laughs> wow, that Thank you, young man. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Another round of applause. Oh. For this 
Yeah. Woo. That was a nice uh, no, no, no. Swing teaser. So where are we now, Hassan? Uh -huh. Where Hasana? are we? Mm -hmm. Well, in the final stage, I'm adding up the cookie one now. So our soup will be ready the old... in less than two minutes. Hey! So the old Mati Kupewa at last is going to... He's going to get it. <laughs> yes. All right, let it, so... Let it go. Go ahead. Can I hold this one for you? Or yes. keep it aside? Mm. I'm forcing myself to use this right. <laughs> myself. Okay, yeah, put more kubiwa. Put, put more kubiwa. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, wow. Ooh. So what consistency is it meant to be? Is it meant to be very thick or slightly watery it normally? It depends. Okay. Some want it watery. Some want it a bit thick. Okay. But so this is okay. Which do you prefer? Just somewhere in between? Yes. Okay. I think this is good to go. Should I? Do we cover the pot or leave it open? Cover it. Cover it, okay. Half cover. So how many minutes do we let it boil after adding the kube wine to it? Talking about minutes, me I can eat it like this. Yeah, so <laughs> it's okay. Hmm? Like two minutes. Two minutes. Wow. So that means, ladies Easy. and gentlemen, that mm. our soup is ready. <laughs> So we're going on break right now. Okay. When we come back, we're going to be tasting and eating Thank you. this delicious, ungaseous meal you. of Mian Kubewa. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, mm -hmm. don't go anywhere. Introducing the new Onga Ginger Onion and Garlic Powder Seasoning. Now you can give your fish, chicken and beef the unique taste all in just one sachet. Mm -hmm. Onga. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Welcome back to Angashus. And our ungaseous moment is here. <laughs> our table is set, our food is ready. We have washed our hands and we are about to dig into the delicious meal of Nian Kubewa Burshashia. I will get it before the end of the day. But it's, I mean, it's been amazing cooking with Hasana and Malam Rikadawa. They were such a delight to work with in the Thank kitchen. You. I didn't Thank have to you. do anything because I saw. they were just so able you to do so almost fun. everything, yes. So we we're just gisting and laughing. Let's eat, if we may. Yes. 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 Oh, this is cast oh, flour, yes. Oh, nice. Very nice. This is. Mm -mm. <laughs> <As I know. laughs> this is really good. At first, when I saw her stirring it, instead of whisking in, I didn't think it was going to have the consistency that I'm used to when I'm taking miyambu session kubewa. But it's actually good. I've never <laughs> tested your kubewa like this. Mm. Wow! But is it the kubewa or? And the spice that will make it like You can you see know, you are really enjoying this meal. Because okay. we, we like the dried okra to actually have, to maintain its stickiness when you're cooking the draw. Yes. <laughs> we actually mm. add a little bit of potash, just this much. Mm. Yes. Mm. Onga is going to take over. Oh, there yes. you go. For sure. Onga is going to take over the season in my house. Mm. <laughs> so, over 10, what would you score this meal? Mm -hmm. For you? Mm -hmm. I have some. 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 
<laughs> you really need to try and make this mian Gusashan Kobewa. You really need to try and make this mian Gusashan Kobewa at home. It tastes amazing. And it doesn't take you know too long, and there are not too many ingredients. So why don't you try it? And if you do, you can tag us on our social media handles, hashtag on Gashos, oh. on Twitter, it's at Onga Nigeria, on Facebook, it's Onga Nigeria, and on Instagram, it's Onga underscore Nigeria. So tag us and let's see what your own Me and Kubewa Busasha came out as. And don't forget to let us know what type of onga spice you used in your soup. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much to Mala Rabi Urikadawa. A round of applause for him, please. And another round of applause for our very lovely and hardworking guest chef. Keep it going for the spice band. And of course, for yourselves. Thank you so much for being here. Join us same time next week for a fresh and exciting episode of Ongashos. Good night. Save me from myself. Save me from this earth. Let's save me. Love me, love me, love me. Love me not today. Love me while I'm here. Just love me. I'm real.